know, I had gone around this time last year for um, a screening, a breast exam. And they said, we found a little something. We need to, you to come back in a few weeks. I went home and I panicked and I thought, this is BS. Nobody in my family has breast cancer. This is my first exam. And I emailed Jason and I said, you know, I'm really scared about something. Um, can we sort of maybe explore this storyline for Christina? I have to go back in a, a few weeks. And, and he emailed me back and he said, oh my God, I have the chills. I'm in the writing room. We just broke the story for Christina. So wow. it was just kismet. Wow. wow. And he said, I really want you to be a part of, you know, this collaboration this year. And um, I always, I'm always asking the writers to write less for me. I get nervous in the big family scenes where everyone's talking. And I was telling Carrie that I just eat in those scenes now. <laughs> <laughs> it's much easier. It's fun. I don't have to try and put my two cents in. I'm like, I'm going to eat a piece of ham. <laughs> <laughs> or some chicken. I don't know. And some cheese whiz. <laughs> well, product plays me have to turn the can. It's a bunch of work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> too hard. It's too hard. Um, but so we're allowed. We're given freedom to kind of do that. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, you can add this or say this. So um, I love the whole wig thing. Amazing. Oh, Especially on amazing. date night, yeah. the fabulous mm -hmm. date night wig. Yeah, she was so broken hearted when you oh, bought yeah. the bad wig and like that wig was called Monique. I got to pick <laughs> that wig out on Wilshire Wigs. I went yes. for myself and I put it on. I'm like, so I'm gonna wear a red wig named Monique. <laughs> it was so, <laughs> so great. So fun. I loved with you the were limo so, like, sweet and sweetly the... proud of it mm -hmm. and like Yeah, I have it at home. <laughs> you do. Nice. Throw that thing on. Yeah, and uh, do you talk with Vince at all about the direction of your character and is he are there specific things about her on the show that can be traced back to you? We did some talking about her at the beginning because she wasn't particularly clear to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I needed to know more about her so that I could play her, right. even if the audience didn't right, end right. up knowing those things. One of the things that was confusing and bothersome to me was that Walt was working two jobs and Skylar was at home and I thought, well, what is she doing at home all day? She's, you know, he's yeah. doing all the stuff, he's taking the kid to school and everything. And What is she doing? <laughs> and he said, she's pregnant. And I said, yeah. Okay. And, <laughs> and I yeah. Love and that. and he and he said, well, you know, she's just taking it easy. And I said, well, you know, people still do things. And so we came up with something for her to do at home, which ultimately fell by the the wayside. But it was still for me, it it justified mm -hmm. some things, and it made it more understandable for me in terms mm -hmm. of what she was doing with her day at home. Kate, have you had any conversations like that with Bo? Were things tweaked based on your requests or your performance or things like that? Um, yeah, I mean, as the show sort of went on, I, mm -hmm. I, felt, I felt as if Zoe was doing things that I kind of do. Really, really subtle things, but no, not like that. Um, not sexually, but... As simple as, like, you know, at one point she's sitting at home, like, eating raw carrots for dinner, and it's so stupid, but that's one of those things that, like, Bo got to know me really well, and, um, and we would joke about how my, my notes on scripts were always, um, I think I should say less, like, let's cross out these lines, sort of like you, yeah. uh, less is more, mm -hmm. and not, not in every script, but for Zoe in particular, I always sort of felt like, um, she wouldn't necessarily say that much and so anytime I would go up to Bo while we were shooting or before he'd always get his pen out like ready to like cross out lines <laughs> and that was just sort of um, how it happened.